I seen, I seen somebody selling shade outside. It's hot. <laughs> two shades over here, man. Two shades. Don't you hate going to hot churches? Don't you hate going to this churches be so hot the flies leave? <laughs> come on, man. We leaving. No, come on. Uh, we going to get off that lady hat, man. Come on. We going to church with some air conditioner. Let's go. And what make me mad, they start passing out fans like that's going to do you good. <laughs> hey, man, what, 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 what's this, man? No, pass out some air conditioners, some air conditioners. <laughs> and the preacher make me mad. You know the preacher. The preacher's stingy. Because you know he be having some Kool-Aid up there in the back <laughs> with two cups. So I know you're feeling like, no, man, give me some of that Kool-Aid, man. I'm hot, man. Stingy. You're stingy. You know, your mama wake you up, no matter what time you get home at late at night, she make, she'll wake you up and make you go to church. Get up, boy. Get, mama ain't got no socks. Get up. So, mama, why can't the preacher come here sometimes? Oh, we always got to go to him. I'm listening to him on the radio. I ain't leaving. No. Crazy, man. I got to move, because, you know, your mama and mama, my mama lying to you, talking about she threw me out the house. I said, mama, why you lying? You know, we all got thrown out the house. We had to leave. We had to go. Lying. Now I got my own place, though, man. It ain't, it ain't fun. I wish I was staying home with mom. It ain't fun, man. People just breaking my house anytime they want to. Somebody done broken my house so many times I come home and see somebody, I don't even get scared no more. I asked me, anybody call? I'm serious. I know the person who's breaking my house. We friends now. On Christmas, he sent me back some of my stuff. <laughs> crazy, man. It's crazy, because you, you can't even be a thief no more. Ain't nobody working. <laughs> Everybody's a thief. You can't be a thief no more. I'm serious. The other day, I robbed the store, came back out, a brother done stole my car. <laughs> Police arrived. I'm like, wait a minute, man. I know where somebody stole my car, man. I want to press charges. I want a lawyer, man. I know what I did. Somebody stole my car. <laughs> Yo. And I'm sitting in jail, the brother didn't even know. I'm like, man, what you in for? He said, some brother didn't put no all in his car. I said, man, I was getting some. I done gave you a ride. Man. So they got a new president, ain't nothing changed. They should have voted for a brother, shouldn't they? They should have. But they scared. They think a brother will mess up the White House. Like the grass won't be cut. <laughs> Dishes piled up, cousins running through the White House, cookout, basketball goal in the back. Broken down cars, all kinds of stuff on the driveway. Brother won't clean out the tub when he get out of there. President get pissed off, somebody done drunk up all the Kool-Aid. Man, who drunk up all the Kool-Aid with the picture back in the empty? <laughs> and you know a black president, man, he gonna be too proud. He ain't gonna have no bodyguard. He gonna be too proud. Black president gonna have a gun. <laughs> somebody try to shoot at him, he messed him up. Hey, man, what's up? Like, oh, man, the president just messed somebody up. He gonna go looking for him. Come on, what's up? What's up?